What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. It's, I've been uploading pretty frequently as of late, so people that have been around for a while probably have realized that, and it's and I think it's showing. The channel's growing, which is quite exciting. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be the first video that I do where I'm not actually opening up Pokemon cards, which is a bit strange. But we're gonna be discussing some, uh, some, some big Pokemon card related news. Um, especially in the YouTube community. And I'm also going to be announcing the bloody uh, giveaway. Because after the previous video, I mentioned I'm going to be giving away some doubles uh, for all the Vivid Voltage cards we pull. I'm also going to be giving away some Champions Path cards as well. So there's going to be two prize packs to win, but they're, going to be, they're both going to be exactly the same. But I'll discuss the rules shortly. But first things first, the big news dropped yesterday that Logan Paul is quitting Pokemon cards. Say what? He's giving up on his quest to buy and open some ridiculously expensive Pokemon cards. And I don't blame him, the man spent a lot of money. He also played a massive impact on, <laughs> on the Pokemon card community, especially here on YouTube. I just was rich one day. Sorry, sorry, I'll finish it. Buy a lot of Pokemon stocks and cards. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. This leads me into the next thing. I'm curious. I, I do have that thing in me that, that fiends for, for, for more. I'm intrigued by life. Um, what can I do today that I haven't done yesterday that's different, that will challenge me, that will help me learn? Anything that ends with expertise begins with education. I made that quote up, you can quote me. Anything that ends with expertise begins with education. So I sing my teeth into different projects, and as they blossom, I dive further and further into them. I eat, like, I'll just use the Pokemon thing because it just happened. I started with education. Next thing you know, I'm, like, pretty deep into the hobby with boxing. I started hitting the pads a little bit. Next thing you know, I'm a professional boxer selling out the Staples Center. And now I'm in a weird point where, to be honest, I'm, I've maxed out my Pokemon Endeavor. I, I, I cannot and will not spend any more money on fucking Pokemon cards. Yeah, you said that to me last night. You're toast. Yep, can't do it. So now, it's like, I don't believe you. I swear to God, I can't. What's he's next? like, if this deal comes along. No, I'm done. But what's next? Do I believe that he's quitting Pokemon cards for good? Based on what he said during his impulsive podcast. Not really. I don't even believe it entirely. I can see the man was very passionate about it. You, you saw that. Just, no one just drops 150k on a goddamn Charizard. It was 150k dropped on that Charizard, I believe. He's probably got a complete PSA 10 first edition Shadowless base set by this by this time, I imagine. I don't think he's he wasn't messing about. I think he reached his goal. But I don't think he's over. because I don't think his, uh, his love of Pokemon and somewhat buying of the cards is over. Um, I take what he said with a pinch of salt because if you watch his previous video on it, back when he got first got into it about a month or two ago I did collect Pokemon cards when I was younger I told him brother. It's the new art Pokemon ironically at the top get educated on Pokemon I f it. I'm gonna do it. I love Pokemon shouldn't be too hard and it wasn't Turns out, Pokemon is the highest grossing media franchise of all time, coming in at over $90 billion. Ahead of Hello Kitty, Star Wars, Mario, Harry Potter, and Marvel. And with the 25th anniversary of Pokemon coming up next year, I don't see that changing anytime soon. And yes, that's how quickly it's it, it's elevated. It wasn't even that long ago he did all this. He said, he mentioned about, the tw he's looking forward to the 25th anniversary next year. So I think, I, I, again, you're gonna have to take it with a pinch of salt. I don't think it's over for him. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes back early next year. I hell, Pokemon might even approach him because he's that big of an influencer. Clearly, look what he's done to the, the market and the investment side of things. Again, I'm not a massive fan of the investing side of things. Well, at least for the modern sets anyway, I think you shouldn't do it. But uh, Polish Rob, he's another, he's another YouTuber I follow quite well. He, he discussed this whole Logan Paul topic in quite good detail about its impact and why people are going nuts with the modern set. But I'll let you go check that out. But yeah, no, I think a lot of YouTubers are pissed off. I can see why they'd be pissed off with him coming into it, increasing the market so rapidly and then leaving. But at the same time, Pokemon YouTubers have only benefited from someone like Logan Paul getting into the hobby. Look at the views. The bloody, look, look at the views, look at the sub counts. Everything's just ramped up. You've got millions of people, young people as well, just coming into the in, into Pokemon cards all of a sudden. And uh, it's definitely shown in bloody sub counts of other Pokemon YouTubers, uh, their view counts. I mean, hell, look at the Sidemen. Half the Sidemen are now doing Pokemon card related videos and apparently they all just found their old sets. I, I called bullshit on a lot of that. I think a lot of them have just went online, spent maybe 2K on a, on a fairly decent set from uh, the Watsy area and just said, oh look, I found my old cards, bullshit. It was it's easy worth them to spend drop 2K, even upwards of 5K on a bloody set just so they could make a video about it and get one to two million views because they're gonna get the revenue back two, threefold on what they spent on the cards anyway, just on that video. So uh, yeah, nah, it's a, it's a bit, uh, I think the I think the side Sidemen will, it's a little bit of a, it's a hype phase. It's probably the best way to describe it uh, for them as well. And they're obviously going to, they're going to capitalize on the views and the, and the, and the focus on Pokemon cards in the YouTube community at the moment. But I think you'll see that they'll die off shortly soon. They'll stop posting about, they're not, they're not 
in it for the long run. They're in it for the they're in it for the short view count. So people thinking they're experts. The only reason half of the side men are doing well and understand what they're looking for at least is because of Randolph. Randolph, I got a lot of respect for. The man's pretty up front. He's pretty up front with the Pokemon card community. Yes, he he probably benefited the most from the Logan Paul thing. He ended up buying one of the booster packs. His coverage of the Logan Paul uh, Pokemon card event, so to speak, has definitely benefited his channel. He's he's nearly grown twice. His sub count in that time, his views are just skyrocketed. But yeah, so he's been helping the, he's been sort of dropping in on a lot of the side men's videos who are apparently found their sets and discussing it with them, so they got a bit more of a knowledge basis there. But yeah, nah, so that's so that's my take on it. I don't think again, I don't think he's going out for good. I don't think Logan's done with Pokemon cards for good. But I think you'll find in the next few months he's probably going to be quiet with it. I reckon, but we'll we'll see what happens come 25th anniversary next year. Maybe the Pokemon company will approach him to do something big like that again. It's only it'll only work in their favor and his favor ultimately. But anyways, guys, let's finally get into the bloody giveaway. You're probably sick of me talking at this point, so let's discuss the rules for the video. Right, right. So we've got the two prize packages. They're going to consist of bloody Vivage uh, Voltage cards and uh and champion's path or all, all doubles straight off the bat we have the sobble which i literally opened up in the video yesterday uh, yesterday two days ago depending on when this video goes out but this this artwork this is the promo card from the blister packs this is beautiful this is unreal i think it's really cool and i think it's gonna it's gonna be a very popular card it's gonna track very well i think it'd be quite good to get into psa 10 but don't take that from me especially to those that bloody win the cards but anyway yeah so that's the uh, that's from the vivid voltage set we got another one from the Vivid Voltage set, which was the other holo promo Vaporeon. Um, again, beautiful card. Love the artwork on this one. Um, always been a fan of the Evolutions. They're very popular Pokemon. Next, we've got the Zygarde holo, which was another double I pulled. Then we've got a Marchamp holo from Champion's Path. I pulled God knows how many of these, and it's really starting to get to me because I, I love the Pokemon, but I'm sick of pulling him. we got another Lycanroc holo, which again is from Champion's Path. And the last card in this uh, prize package will be the Double V. So, yeah, so for your chance to win these cards, and again, there is going to be two of them, because look, I've got the exact same over here. So if your chance to win either of these sets of cards, doesn't matter which one you win, because they're exactly the same, all you have to do is go to my previous video. I'll pop it up on the screen somewhere here or in the description below. All you have to do is go to that video, watch the video if you've not already watched it, come back to this video, be a subscriber, like the video, of course, and comment below your favorite card from that uh, that Vivid Voltage opening. Simple as. It can literally be any card. It can be a goddamn energy. It doesn't have to be a V card, doesn't have to be a full art, doesn't have to be a V Max, doesn't even have to be a rainbow rare, a secret rare, or an amazing rare. But yes, they are all in that video, so go check that out if you've not already. But all you gotta do is be a subscriber, like this video, and comment on this video your favorite card from my previous video. That makes more sense, more straightforward. And then uh, in about a week's time, I will announce uh, who won the cards. It's gonna be that simple. So you got twice the chance of winning, but yeah, so it doesn't matter where you are in the world, guys, I will get these sent out to you. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. We are on lockdown at the moment, but I'm, I'm due to go to the post office soon. So have some other cards sent out for previous winners. So yeah, so next week, yeah, screw it. Next Thursday, I'll announce the winner of these two prize packs. But yeah, guys, other than that, appreciate you watching as always. Hit me up on Instagram at Super Smash Pokemon 64. I have been posting there again. Believe it or not, for those that have been following me there for a while, it's going to be more consistent, I promise. I've been much more consistent on YouTube as well, so, as you can see. So, yeah, but other than that, I hope you're doing well no matter where you are in the world. But as always, take it easy. Peace out.